How's it going everyone? My name is Jesse Lack and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a ramp slow-mo using Adobe After Effects CS6 on Windows. So what a ramp slow-mo is, is basically it creates a slow motion effect but instead of just dropping it to the slowest point immediately it sort of curves it and brings it slowly down to the slowest point and then brings it right back up to regular speed like a ramp like that. So what that means here is here's the original clip right here. and then we're gonna turn it into this one right here you can hear even with the audio it it makes that sound where you can hear it swooping down to the lowest point and then back up again so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up Adobe After Effects right here and we're gonna bring up our folder right here with our file we're just gonna drop it right in here and we're gonna start a new composition from the selection now there's a lot of you know random space back here so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut it to you know about 10 seconds bring that down over there and we're gonna trim the work area to fit there and then if you just right click on there you can trim the composition to the work area and it just cleans it up a little bit so the first order of business right here is we're going to right click on our file and we're going to go up to time you want to enable time remapping now that brings this up, little menu open right here and you can see it created a keyframe right at the beginning and there's one at the end but since we trimmed that part out you can't see it anymore now you want to click this button right here which is your graph editor which opens up this uh, just to make sure we want to make sure this is selected here edit speed graph and now we get to do a little keyframing action. You only have to do two keyframes here. It's very easy. You want to scroll ahead to the point where you want the action to start. So in skateboarding, commonly, it's right when you pop the board. So right there. And we're going to set a keyframe. And then we're going to move a little further down to right when I land. Right when those four wheels hit the ground. We're going to set another keyframe. So now you can see that this keyframe is selected here what you want to do is hold shift and click a different part of the graph right there so you can see now it's made this little gray box around it and what you want to do is click somewhere in that gray box and you just drag you can see it's sort of creating that little drop there but that is a normal slow-mo that's gonna drop it straight down to the slowest point what we want is the ramp so if you click on this point right here you can see it creates the yellow box with the little little ball sticking out if you click on that ball and drag up you can see it starts to create the ramp you can affect that by pulling in and out so then we're gonna take the other one select it over here and pull it up to create our nice our nice smooth ramp which again you can affect if you want it to be slower or a more drastic drop you can do that there but we're just gonna keep it right in the middle on both sides there we go and now I'm just gonna hit a zero on my keypad over here which is gonna do a RAM preview it's gonna load it up for us and we'll be able to take a look at it And there you go. That's how you make a ramp slow-mo. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Go to Output Module down here where it says Lossless. That's going to bring up a little, uh, little menu for you. <laughs> if my computer decides to... Uh, respond there we go so here up format you can pick from any number of different formats most common commonly used is the h.264 you can change the format options which can change your bit rate uh, which it just all affects the overall quality of the video so you're gonna hit OK we're gonna do audio output which we need hit OK output to we're gonna change that to uh, right back where it was we're gonna call this ramp slow-mo hit save and render 
it's pretty much going to go through exactly what we did when we did the RAM preview, which is essentially just rendering the video again, uh, just for playback inside uh, After Effects. There we go. We've successfully rendered video. Now if you go back here, here's our RAM slow-mo file, and we'll just bring that up. And there you go. You've successfully created a ramp slow-mo with Adobe After Effects CS6. Hope I helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.